My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. Welcome to the Weekly Dumb Memorial Day edition. Coming out the day after Memorial Day. Being recorded on Memorial Day. How are you? James, Zach, everyone with us. Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, wish I did. We're back in the lab. Grinding. That's all we know. Uh, and Jim, you have some stories on here you wanted to talk about, and your baby's a model, and you made a picture. Oh, I took such good pictures of him at the beach. I got to frame some of them. But mostly, let's get into the sports, because we got some wild... <laughs> Playoff baseball sports. Jim, I kind of don't care about Minnesota Augustana because Minnesota doesn't matter. Ooh. New York, Section 5, Class 1B. Okay. A lot of one things. Of the, one of the most famous finishes of a game I think we'll ever see. The band's on the field. The band's. It's almost like that. The team's on the field. The team's. Though. Well, there's probably trainers and other people on the field. This is un, unreal. Un, yeah. Like, unbelievable. It affects it, kids' lives. It went... Pretty viral. They strike out the guy to win the game, but the catcher drops the ball. He thinks he tags the runner out. The umpire clearly says no and yells it. Like, you can hear it in the video. He yells safe and does the no-call tag. I think the catcher got confused on what that meant. A lot going on. He puts the ball in his back pocket. They dogpile. Literally home run. Game, go ahead, run. They had so much time to figure it out. And I do wonder what happens if they get the ball out and they tag them because then the other team's going to be like, well, I mean, they had too many defenders right. on the field. Illegal. Illegal. And that might lose them the game anyway. So, yeah, uh, tragic. It's the beauty of sports. Or actually, it's probably the opposite of that. Yeah. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know. You can run through all the other situations in your head. I, uh, I mean, you know, we've, we've been talking about it with blitz ball and nobility. If I'm, there's something to be said. What if the other team just said, like, we didn't deserve that? You well, get the play to the whistle, you know, that's you, you know? taught that way. I don't know. No whistle in baseball, is there? The Minnesota one's funny. The kid, like, leans into the pitch. It would have won the game. And the ump's like, no, loser. That's the most intentional lean ever. That kid feels bad. Ooh, yeah, he should. He should. And he and should. He should. Yeah, he should. Him and the catcher should have a support group. No, catcher feels fine. You think so? Yeah. Enough! Almost a breakdown. Squirrel! Tell him, Jim. This squirrel was running on the fence, and it's awesome. Uh, the yes Network had a slow-mo shot of it, and I love the faces because you go, like, young kid shocked. Young kid shocked. And a little fear in his eye. And then another guy, frozen. And I like the frozen guy a lot. Like, not shocked. Doesn't even move his face muscles at all. And then the fourth kid, scared. Then they get to the old man who is super into it. He's doing this. That's a squirrel. And that's the beauty of comedy. And that's a squirrel. When it gets to the old man, he's seen more life than those four kids. Oh, yeah. He's had a lot of encounter with squirrels. And Jim, this is only half the story, and I know this, because our Zach Esposito was at the game tracking the squirrel all the way across the field. Wow, insider. Up until the fence. So Zach was on it first. You saw it? Yeah. And you think it was real? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you think anyone that you think that woman knocked it off the ledge? Me neither. I actually I know for a fact she didn't. I saw the video. Last time you sang Third Eye Blind? High school. Okay, High school. Zach. Oh, we're gonna go back to the sports. It's DraftKings. Wow. They cover sports in a way. You can find who's supposed to win, who's not. You can find a lot. They cover sports. Jim, in the more sports, we're heading over to my Bundesliga because we had one of the crazier Final days in recent history. And your Bayern has a deal with the devil in this league, Jim. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with the parody of Bundesliga. I know the top teams go to like the Super League tournaments and stuff. So they still got to, you want to make your team as good as possible. Like making great parody in Bundesliga and, and not having a super team hurts Germany's chances of having a super team win the other leagues. So it's a very interesting dynamic there. But this led to their 11th straight championship. And that's like, I don't know. It's a lot. There's a really good moment when uh, Köln or whatever is playing uh, Bayern and they tie it on a PK. So the whole stadium cheers. And then like, I don't know, five minutes later. Aaron scores a goal to take the lead, and then the whole stadium and the other stadium lose. Uh, Off the sports? Uh, no, Jim. Actually, we're doing not sports. So it's mm. kind of sports, but the opposite. This is a great story. You would like this story. So there's this guy. His name is Rajesh Vishwash, and he's a food inspector. 
in India. I don't know in, entirely what that means. High up. Apparently it pays well. Because his Instagram, he's got cars, he's got guns, he's got all this nice shit. He's always promoting his lavish lifestyles of food inspector. He actually went to this beautiful dam, not that pretty, kind of an ugly dam, for a picnic. Took a selfie, his phone dropped in the water. He used his government job and probably the pistol he always has and ordered divers to go retrieve his phone. They couldn't find it. So then he called up the dam guy in charge of the dam and was like, can we just drain this bad boy and find my phone? And uh, he got a verbal yes from that dude. They're both suspended and in a lot of trouble. Drain some <clears throat> water by a nearby canal. They found the phone. It was waterlogged. Doesn't yeah. work. He said there was government secrets on it. You're a food inspector. Food inspector. Though. There was videos of you banging some dude you don't want out there or something like that. He didn't save a number to his cloud recently. Maybe thought she was the one or he. Ooh. I don't know. Um, he did say context. There's a lot of context. Yeah. There or something like that. And some nudes. So, yeah, I mean, this is a slight abuse of government power. Three days of draining the dam. Love the spin <laughs> zone that they were saying it would, in fact, benefit some farmers because they moved the water to the other canal. So, I mean, you know. And other farmers flooded their fields, maybe. I don't know. No. It's employee the employee of the week. week. It's the employees of the week. It's the employees, employees of, of the week. week. They don't work here. They don't work here, but they're friends. It is basement yard plus one. Oh. Joe, Frank, Danny. Yeah. Santagato, Alvarez, Lo Priori. Oh, we got Some all the names. good names. They're participating in our code names tournament. Their most recent game was, was really funny. Yeah. I forgot some of the gags and bits they were doing, and then I, there's more funny to come up. So go check out that. And thanks to them. There it is. Paper is made with water. What? Boop. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. The NBA Finals are here. Today's video sponsor, DraftKings, is bringing the high-stakes action to all new customers. New customers who bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code DUMB, bet $5 on any wager, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly with promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Most people, if they want to discard a phone with government secrets on it, they throw it in water. Food inspector, though. I checked. I read Indian websites. I, I read American websites. Uh, all the articles I could on this yeah. to see if anyone had anything more deeper than right. food inspector. No one had it anywhere. Top food inspector? Huge gig. I don't know uh, if... Rajesh? Rajesh, I guess. I Rajesh Vishwas? Rajesh, Rajesh? Rajesh? I don't know if he's that guy. But if he is, I'd like to see his nudes either way.